You and your fellow lab workers should be prepared to respond to incidental chemical spills. These are spills that are small in scale and may be cleaned up without dangerous respiratory exposure. Before you need to respond to a spill, please ensure you have a spill kit ready and available in your lab. ORS has spill kits available for you to use, so contact ORS Hazardous Waste Services to get one today. A spill kit should include absorbents, a clear plastic bag for collecting waste, and a hazardous waste label for disposal. In addition, you should have a spray bottle with a mild detergent solution to clean up the surface after the spill has been fully absorbed. The first step of any spill response is to assess the scene. Look around and make sure you can answer questions necessary to clean up the spill. Is anyone injured? Is there potential for fire or explosion? If there are injuries or you see any potential for the spill to escalate beyond your control, seek assistance. Also ask, can you identify the spilled material? Is it a quantity you can handle? Is it spreading? Be sure to ask your lab members for information about the spill and check the pH of any spill that looks like water. If you cannot identify the material or contain it with the spill materials you have on hand, call ORS for assistance. Step 2. Alert your coworkers. Let people around you know what's spilled and that you're going to clean it up. Incidental spills don't require evacuation, but you want to ensure that no one else walks through or becomes contaminated. Step 3. Prepare. Put on your lab coat, gloves, and safety glasses or goggles. Then, get your spill kit. Be sure to use only absorbents that are compatible with the spilled chemical. Hydrofluoric acid is not compatible with the absorbents in the ORS-provided spill kit. ORS provides neutralizer for acids and bases. Consult ORS before neutralizing concentrated acids or bases, or any concentration of hydrofluoric acid. ORS provides adsorbents for small mercury spills the size of a mercury thermometer. Contact ORS to clean mercury spills larger than a thermometer. Refer to sections 6 and 8 of the Chemical Safety Data Sheet for more information about accidental release measures, exposure controls, and personal protective equipment. Step 4. Contain and absorb. First, protect nearby drains on floors or in sinks to ensure that spilled material does not enter the environment. Then, place absorbents around the spill to keep it from spreading. Finally, carefully place absorbents on the remaining spill to absorb the chemical. For powdered chemicals, gently sweep them up with a dedicated broom and dustpan and collect them in the clear plastic hazardous chemical waste bag. Step 5. Collect. If there is broken glass or other sharp material, carefully use tongs or a dedicated broom and dustpan to collect in a lined, five-gallon pail for disposal. Collect all the chemically contaminated absorbents or powdered chemicals in a clear plastic hazardous chemical waste bag for disposal with ORS. Additional plastic bags and disposal containers are available through VWR. Step 6. Clean. After the spill is absorbed and collected, use a spray bottle with detergent solution and a spill pad to clean up the surface where the spill occurred. Add these materials to the clear plastic bag for disposal with ORS. Step 7. Dispose. Close and label your spill cleanup waste bag and store it in your hazardous waste accumulation area. Then submit a hazardous waste pickup request to ORS. You must always follow up by completing an incident report and submitting it to ORS within five business days of the incident. ORS needs to evaluate what went wrong and see if we can prevent the situation in the future. The incident report must be completed by you and your supervisor. Step 1. Assess the scene. Step 2. Alert your coworkers. Step 3. Prepare. Step 4. Contain and absorb. Step 5. Collect. Step 6. Clean. Step 7. Dispose. For more information about incidental spill cleanup, please contact ORS.